Hi, I'm TJ Johnson and I own and operate Urban Futures Farm. We are a three and a half acre urban farm here in Olympia. We grow um, mixed vegetables, stone fruits, berries. We do pastured eggs. We do pastured chicken meat. Um, and we uh, do it all through a CSA model. We have about 48 shares in our CSA this year, which is a, a big jump for us this year, trying to help more people get local food in the midst of this crazy pandemic. There seems to be a renewed interest in local food. Well, we started out with a pretty good baseline soil here. We have a Yelm sandy loam, um, uh, but it's sort of two stories. The, the, a portion of the property uh, was a community garden that I founded in 2009. And so we've been working those soils rather intensely for about 10 years now, even before I owned the property, um, and have almost an ideal agricultural soil out there. Um, the other portion of the property uh, that wasn't the community garden had had heavy tillage and heavy applications of pesticides and herbicides for many years. So it's taken us the five years that we've been here operating the farm to really kind of get the poisons out of the system, to reestablish health in the soil and some biology in the soil. And uh, it's, the good news is in five years you can do amazing things and we have great soil now. Um, our biggest challenges when it comes to soil are things like uh, persistent disease, particularly club root is becoming a real issue for us. Uh, well, that's the basis of our whole system here. Um, we don't grow the same family in the same bed without at least a two-year break, and ideally we like to go three years. So uh, it's very complex rotations both between years and within seasons as we do successive cropping and try to do rotations even within a single growing year to break up disease cycles and, and pest cycles. And um, our soil, as I say, is almost an ideal soil at this point. We have very high organic matter. Uh, we have great biological activity. And each year we find we have to do less and less to, uh, to amend the soil to get it to, to what we need for, for the growing year. Yeah, well we realized very early on we weren't going to use compost in our fields here. We just can't make compost that gets hot enough to kill the weeds. And we found as we were using a lot of compost, we were just bringing more weeds into the system. So we've switched to intensive cover cropping and every bed is cover cropped every year. What that means for us is that we don't run our CSA season as long as some farms because we need to get our beds cover cropped uh, really in September. Um, I experimented with a lot of different types of cover crop, but what I really like now and what we use uh, almost all the time is a mixture of crimson clover and cayuse oats, and, and that does really well for us here, and it helps us, uh, and we work this land very intensely because we only have three acres. We push the land hard, but with our cover cropping, we're able to sustain high organic uh, matter levels and keep beds covered almost year round in either food production or cover cropping. And we don't use the solid compost anymore, but what we do use is compost tea. So we take the, the finished compost that we still make, we turn it into a liquid form, we apply that to uh, the plants, these are a foliar feed or as a soil drench, and that then brings particularly the micronutrients and um, some of the, the trace minerals back into the system.